Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today I'm going to show you how to replace an air conditioning compressor in your car or truck. If you haven't seen my video where I use one of these simple do-it-at-home kits with a UV dye in it to check for leaks in your system, I'll leave that video link in the description. And what we found is that the compressor is leaking. So this seal right here on the old compressor is leaking, which means we need to replace the compressor or rebuild it. In this case, we're going to replace it. Now compressors could be pretty expensive. Where I got my compressor was actually a pretty good deal, and I'll leave the link to where I got my compressor in the description so you could check it out for yourself. Now normally doing compressor work or working with the air conditioning system in your car scares people away, especially do-it-yourselfers. But I'm going to tell you right now, you do need some specialized tools. For example, you're going to need a set of manifold gauges just like this. But it cost me 50 bucks, and any special equipment I'll leave in the link in the description. It's going to be way cheaper to do this yourself than bring it to a mechanic. And I'm going to show you the right way to do it so you could do it yourself at home. Now in this video we're specifically working on replacing the air conditioning compressor. The next video, which I'll have a link to as well in the description, will be how to charge your whole air conditioning system after you replace your compressor or after you find your leak and you fix it. But for this video we're specifically working on replacing the compressor, so let's begin. So here are all the tools you're going to need to do the job. You need a socket set with extensions and a ratchet, a breaker bar for those stubborn bolts, a torque wrench, and here are some tools that you might need depending on your vehicle. You might need a metal wire brush to clean the bolt threads, some Loctite, a socket universal joint to get to those hard to reach bolts, and I use a serpentine belt tool to help get the belt off, but you could just use a regular ratchet or your breaker bar. And those are all the basic tools you're going to need to replace a compressor. So let's begin. The first step's going to be to make sure your system is evacuated completely of refrigerant. You can see here my low pressure side is zero PSI, and my high pressure side is zero PSI, so there is no refrigerant in this system at all. If you have refrigerant in your system, don't let it leak out. Take it to a mechanic, they pump it out, they recycle it. This stuff isn't good for you, it isn't good for the environment, so try to do it responsibly. So after your system is completely evacuated, now we could go down to the bottom of the engine here and start working on getting the compressor out. Just like the video I did with replacing the alternator, wherever the compressor is, is going to be how difficult it is to get out. In this case, the compressor is buried, so it's going to be more difficult. But in some cases, the compressor is right at the top of the engine, which makes it really easy. For example, in my Corvette, the air conditioning compressor is right at the top, right here. Look how easy this is to get to. You take some bolts off to get it off the bracket, you pull the compressor out, you put the new one in, boom, done. So how easy it is to get to the compressor will really dictate how hard it is to replace it. So since our compressor is all the way down there, Toyota was kind enough to provide an access port on the side here. And you can see the compressor is right over there. So we're going to go take the wheel off and we'll have good access to the compressor. Now with the car safely jacked up, supported by jack stands, Let's remove the tire and slide it under the car. So now we'll take off this rubber cover here to get access to the compressor. I'll be using a panel clip pliers, which will make sure these little panel clips don't break. Now you can see we have easy access right to the compressor. We can get to all the bolts, especially the bolts to take the hoses off, the bolts to remove the compressor, and the electrical connections. As always, take a look at your new part and it'll give you an idea of what you need to do. You can see there's one, two, three, and then right down here, four bolts that mount this compressor to the engine. And then we have one, two, which are where the two hoses go in, the high and low pressure. And then we have our single electrical connection. Another thing I should mention is right here, it says the compressor is filled with 5.7 ounces of PAG 46 oil. You want to make sure your compressor either comes with the oil built in, or you have to add the oil yourself. It's easier to find a compressor with oil that is already in it, so you don't have to measure stuff. If you don't oil the compressor, your compressor is just going to blow out and you're wasting your time. So make sure you have the correct amount of oil in it, or just get a pre-oiled compressor just like this. The first thing we're going to do is disconnect these hoses here. In this case, I'm using an extension with a 12 millimeter. That's one. And we're just going to move this out of the way. If you want, get a piece of paper towel and shove it in there so you don't contaminate it. This will just prevent debris from getting into the 
air conditioning lines, which is definitely what you don't want. Next one we'll get is this top one right here. These are coming off pretty easy for me. You might need a breaker bar, but in this case, I didn't need one. Remove this one right here. This one's kind of hard to see, but I'm, again, putting a piece of paper towel in here. And I'll just move that down and out of the way. Good. Now you can see right back there, there's an electrical connection that we're going to want to remove. To get this connector off, you just press down and pull. Now that the connector's off, we'll just move it aside. Now we're going to go and remove the belt. So we take the belt tension off. Then we have one, two, three, four bolts to get off and the compressor will come out. All right, up in the engine bay, we're going to go right in here. So we have a 14 millimeter socket with a little bit of an extension on our serpentine belt tool. Going to remove the belt tension. So if we go down, the tensioner is located right there. If I pull my ratchet this way, it removes the belt tension. And this allows us to slide the belt off the pulley. Okay, now the belt is loose and out of the way. We have four bolts to get to. I'm using multiple extensions on my ratchet and it's a 12 millimeter. That's one. So we just got that bolt out. Now we want to get this one out. The problem is this is in the way. So you could actually see if you look through this hole, there's the bolt we need to get to. On our extension, I'm going to be using this universal joint right here. It'll allow a little bit of flexibility. We'll send this right through. There's number two. Now we got the top two bolts off. We have to get the bottom two bolts off. So to get to that bolt right down there, you have to go below the frame like so. That's three, one more to go. So there's one last bolt right down here. And we're gonna get it out by coming down here underneath the frame again. Now as I'm unscrewing this, notice the compressor is ready to fall right out. So just be prepared. This last bolt is the only thing holding it in. And there we go. Now we fish this out of here. Okay. So here's our old compressor. Here's our nice new one. You can see there's only one wiring harness on here. So we need to take off from here and all of this and transplant it onto here. It's just a matter of loosening two screws to get the harness off. Simple. Okay, now we can transplant this onto our brand new compressor. This sensor fits in right here. Easy enough. Get one of these screws in. I'm going to use a nut driver instead of a screwdriver because the screw head here is really rusty and pretty much stripped. Now we'll come over here and this was like that. You can see the hole there. Good. This is already pre-filled with oil. I'm going to keep these on here right now. They're just covers. You can see the little rubber boot. You unscrew these and you'll put the new hoses on once we get it put in. As always, compare the two parts and they look identical. You can see the pulleys stick out the same amount. Everything is the same. So we want to make sure we clean up the threads on these bolts that hold the compressor to the engine. This is what the cleaned up ones look like. And there's the dirty ones. All you have to do is get a metal wire brush and just clean them off just like that. All right, with all the bolts clean, let's go install that compressor. Now be careful with the new one because we don't want to damage it. Get it in here. Now we want to get our bolts, all four of them. We just get a little bit of Loctite. This is the blue type, it's the removable. And we're just going to put it right down the threads just like that. And what the blue Loctite does is it locks it into place just for vibration. It's not going to be hard to get off. But it also protects the threads from corrosion. Now with our compressor in here, we're going to try to get one bolt in. So I'm just going to slide that in there. We just want to try to thread in one. All right, now we're just going to start getting bolts in. I'll get the other top bolt in over here. Good. 
Now do the bottom two bolts, hand tighten that, slip this last one in and hand tighten. And with all of them tightened by hand, we'll torque them down. So on this compressor, we need to tighten that one first, then that one down there, then that one there, and then that one there, in that order. And each bolt gets torqued to 18 foot-pounds. That's one. That's two. Three. Good. So all four bolts are torqued down. Now let's get our electrical connector here. Good, make sure that pops in, and it did. Now we just have to attach the hoses, put the belt on, and we are done. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, take off these pieces here. Pop off the covers, you can hear it's kind of pressurized in there. That's to make sure that no moisture gets in. Moisture is a big killer for air conditioning systems. If you're replacing the compressor and your compressor doesn't come with these washer seals, you want to make sure that you get the washer seals. Don't skip on this step because this could cause your compressor to leak and all this work will be for nothing. So the washer seals are on our lines. This is the high pressure line. We take this off, you can see the washer seal is right there. We get our low pressure line. Take off the seal on that one. Here's the old compressor. They'll fit right here and right here and seal it. Now, you don't want to install these dry. What you want to do is get a Q-tip, use the oil from the air conditioning system, and just lubricate the O-rings. And these are all oiled up and ready to be installed. Now we could slide the new washer seal right on. The small one fits on the small line. Nice and tight, which is good. And this larger one will slide right onto the larger line nice and tight all the way down. Now we're going to go tighten down our air conditioning lines right into the compressor. So we'll get the high pressure line which is on the bottom here and we'll just hand tighten this screw in there. It's important that you line the hose up into the hole correctly so that it seats properly so there's no leaks. We'll do the same exact thing for the other hose. Now we're going to take our torque wrench and we're going to go in here and torque these down to 14 foot-pounds of torque. Good. Make sure you don't over tighten these because the compressor is aluminum and you'll just strip the threads. That's why we're torquing it. Okay, now we'll get the belt on. It's the same as taking it off. You just turn the tensioner and slip the belt over the pulley. And when you let go of the pulley, it tightens the belt automatically. Let's not forget about this right here. It just has these clips that you push right in. And that's all there is to it. That's how you replace an air conditioning compressor. It's all done. All you have to do is put the wheel back on. I don't need to show you that. The next step will be to charge the AC system, and that'll be in the next video, since it takes a few steps to do it properly. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Up on the screen are videos related to the AC system, such as recharging the system with refrigerant. To get to those videos, you can click on the screen or find the link in the description, along with the links to all the tools and the AC compressor I used in this video.